Representing the 28 to 30 foot class in the center console category, the Sea Hunt Gamefish 30 has an overall length of 29 feet 9 inches, a beam of 9 feet 9 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 600. Built for offshore fishing excursions with the family, she has a draft of 22 inches, a dry weight of 6,000 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 228 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, Dave East and Rick Riles. This is the Sea Hunt Game Fish 30. Nice deep entry on the bow, a lot of flare. It's a serious offshore fishing boat. You know, I remember when we used to define boats this way. You just referred to this one as a serious offshore boat. But it's not, okay? Boats don't do one thing anymore. You used to have an offshore boat, you had a ski boat, and you had a cruiser, okay? But offshore fishing is not just for grizzled old guys like me anymore. How many more families are you seeing 30 miles offshore than you ever used to? Boats nowadays have to take on a dual role, dual purpose. The family wants to go. You want to enjoy the family on the water because the more you involve your family, the easier it is to get permission to buy a <laughs> new exactly boat. That's exactly right. And wives and daughters used to ride along when you went fishing. Those days are gone. Wives and daughters are doing the fishing now, in case you hadn't noticed. All right, the kids are fishing, everybody's fishing. That means you've got to accommodate the whole family, and they started up here with this outstanding bow seating. All right, you want to talk about maximizing your space up here? Look at how many people you can seat up here. You've got armrests there, full loungers here. It speaks to having the whole family with you. It's comfortable, you've got the wind in your face. Super durable cushions are going to hold up to the marine environment, but let's just say it is the boys, and you're not taking the family, and you're going to go fish a tournament with this boat would be absolutely at home to do. All this is removable, and now you've got your casting deck that you want, even with a convenient little step up to get to the bow. That step is ideal. Old guys like me have a hard time standing up on these platforms and getting up on them. That makes it so much easier. It's a little simple thing that you wouldn't even notice you did during the day, but you sure would notice how it made you feel better. Well, if you're going to run down a big fish and gaff him off the bow, it's nice to have insulated boxes up here which you can just dump him in, shut the lid, and you're done. You're ready to catch your next fish. There's also a filler piece that goes in here. Once you drop it in place, you put another cushion. Now you've got a huge bow pad for sunning or remove all the cushions and you've got your really, really big casting platform. Got a place you can run back and forth in a hurry if you're trying to gaff a fish and you've got to get around the bow. No, it's well thought out. Once again, they've maximized their space up here. Now, did you notice anything when we walked back here? Look how much room you had. This is a wide, wide console. You could put everything you wanted to go away for the weekend or go on vacation inside this console, but you still got lots of room. That's because of something you taught me about called detubing. Well, what the detubing does, it allows the legs of the console to be tucked in really, really tight. That way, they're not out here in the aisle, and you can do exactly what you said. You can build the console wider. You can tuck the legs in. They almost become integrated into the console and they're not, in, they're not taking up any floor space. You can walk right past them. Here again, it's one of the things that, that makes a boat feel more comfortable. Well, let's look at the face of this console. You have flush mount electronics. They've got cup holders. The layout really is everything you need and it's nothing over the top. You got a comfortable footrest here and you've got the helm seating that we've seen before that's convertible. It's a bolster or it's a comfortable seat. You ready for what really sets this boat apart? Mezzanine seating. As a fisherman, let me tell you, I'm always yelling at people that need to be watching the baits. What's a better place to watch the baits than right here? What they've also done is they've taken the area underneath it and they've made a divided live well under there. So you've got your stern live well over here, but you've got another one under here and it's divided. That way if you want to separate your baits, you can. Well, if you're not going to do a lot of live bait fishing and one live well is good, this is also insulated. So this also becomes a cooler. So now you can keep drinks or food stuff back here. You still have another live well, so if you don't, if you don't have just a few baits, you've got the room for them. One more thing about Sea Hunt, every one of these boxes is insulated. So it can double as a cooler if you're not using it as either a fish box or a live well. We talked earlier about the dual mission of the boat. Another thing this mezzanine seating is good for is diving. On most boats, the hardest part of a dive is getting dressed. You understand that. This makes it a whole lot easier. You've got a nice big cockpit back here. You've got easy access into your system to maintain your pumps. There's another fish box that's insulated here on the transom. We talked earlier about the live wells. You've got plenty of room back here for several fishermen. Or if the family wants to come back here and enjoy conversation, you have a comfortable place to sit because they can get another seat here facing this way. So you've got group seating in the bow and in the cockpit. You've got fish boxes in the bow and in the cockpit. They maximize their space so well. It's clear that the mission of this boat is to be able to fish hard with the family. 
You can carry a big family on this one. She'll fish more people than most 30-footers.